25th of March, 2021. Just got this in the mail. Whoa, look at that right there. That is, uh, that's sunk quite a bit right there. I'm gonna have to do some work to clean that up. Get this all prepared and ready for seating. I got this thing right here. This is a little propane thing. Got this on the eBay. And I'm gonna fill up a propane tank and see if this thing works. It's got a little bit in there. Pretty much empty though. Okay. Like I said, I don't know if this thing's gonna work or what, but we're gonna about to find out. All right, so I got the tank here. I got this little setup here. This is the valve right here. The screws on somewhere to this system. And then this is what you hook up to the tank. This is a pressure relief valve right here. It says pressure relief, do not remove. And I need a wrench to open up this one to put, put this right here. So I'm looking at the lawn. It just doesn't look great. It's quite um, sad looking. I need to put some fertilizer down and do some work on it. But it's still really dormant. The lawn's super dormant. So there should be a ranch right here. Monkey ranch. So the mud's finally starting to disappear. That mower right there, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it. It needs new wheels. What the frick was that? That was weird. Okay, so get the monkey wrench here. The wheels are bad on that sucker, so I just it needs work. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it. All right, so I'm pretty sure this goes on here, like this. This says, follow directions carefully. So this I'm gonna take off here like that. Pretty sure. There we go. So get the lid off there, or the cap. And you can see this right here. And this is gonna thread onto there, right there. Okay, so there, that's threading on there quite nicely. I'm gonna make sure that the valve is closed right there. Make sure this valve is closed like that. Tighten up this. So underneath this little spout right here, the spigot, there's a stem that goes all the way down to the bottom of the tank. So, you, so I can get the liquid propane. Because on the top of the tank, it's gas. Okay, so that is tight there. Let's see how much propane I've got in here. It's to 35%. This is reverse threaded, folks. So you put that on there like that, reverse thread. And then there's this thing right here. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a little thing right here that you've got to open. I've seen them do it a hundred times. And I think that's just to let the air out of the tank once it fills up with uh, liquid. So that's that. I'm going to open up the valve right here. Okay, so the valve is open. I'm going to open up this valve to let the, to fill up the, the hose with liquid. Ooh, that's, that's stinky and cold. Should probably put some gloves on. So I should just be able to open up this like that. That should let gas in there. Actually, I'm gonna close it, open up the valve. Let that fill up like that. Okay, so that should fill up with propane. And then it doesn't, feel like it's it's not heavy so I don't, I don't know maybe I have to put this in here like that let some of the air out of there so it should be filling there's nothing in there there's no um pump like when you get this filled up at the station it pumps it in there. It's like an electric pump. But this, yeah, it's definitely filling it. And I don't, I don't smell gas there, so I don't think it's. So 
So opening up that should release the air that's in the tank and then drop the liquid in there. And it should just fill up and then you just, I should just be able to, once I start to see gas coming out there and put this in there and tighten it up like, like that, and that means it's full. Maybe it's just slow. Maybe it just has to come in through the hose really slow. I don't know. I can hear liquid inside there. Let's open this up and try that again. It's definitely filling. It's definitely working. One thing you just don't want to do is you just don't want to have any kind of flame or anything going on around here. That's a dangerous item there. I mean, you know it's you know that it's flowing. That there's gas in the line because if you um, open up this valve right here, you can see the liquid coming out of there. See that right there? So I knew, do know for sure that liquid is flowing in there, and then also you can feel it. I mean, you can feel it coming. You can feel the, the liquid in the tank, but it definitely is working. So it's pretty well full. See that coming out of there? The liquid gas coming right out of that valve means it's full. See that? See, it's cold right there. See that? She's full. So you close that valve, close that. Close this guy here. All right, so now I can let off the liquid in the... So that's just the liquid in the hose up to the tank, because this is off. So that's just letting off the pressure. This can come loose, like that, like that. So there it is. So I think what I'll do for the time being, I'm gonna put this under here like this. Just wrap this up right here, like this. Put that under there, like that. Okay, there we go. I need to make sure that this valve is off in case some kids come and open that up. I already know what's gonna happen. Kids are gonna open up that valve right there. And then I'm gonna come out here and all my propane will be gone. And that is 100% absolutely full, it's heavy. So that's pretty freaking sweet. Let's take it back into the shed, fire up the heater. And then I can just buy propane from the propane supplier for much cheaper, like half the cost. Man, that is awesome. Turn that on. man that is so freaking awesome there she is I just like that I've got heat in there so it worked it worked fantastic got that on eBay I'll leave a link down below if you want to buy that or whatever and that, that's not gonna fit every single tank but the guy's got his phone number on there and you can text him and then he'll tell you if it's gonna work or not he says oh yeah text me a picture of your tank and so I did and he's like oh yeah that's the one you need so that's pretty freaking sweet, and I can use that to fill up my barbecue tanks or whatever. So if you're off grid or you've got you live in an area that has a propane tank, you should buy that. It's pretty dang awesome. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.